Hi, I'm Xin Yi Song from Hangzhou, China. Welcome to my creative journey. Since I was very young, I have been a fantasist. I like to combine my life observation and life experience with my wild ideas to create a new world and imagine that I am the protagonist of this world. Through illustration, I can tap into imagination on my mind, into tangible creations, and the pure act of expression brings me immense joy. I especially like to draw inspiration from daily life, observing myself and the people or things around me, and then documenting them through different forms of illustration, such as in my project Mercury in the Retrograde, where I documented my high school life in a picture book. At the same time, memories are also an important part of my creative process. Before I go into high school, I grew up in an educational system that was solidified by teaching to test. And my choice to study art was fraught with prejudice and misunderstandings. So in my project Rescue, I used the colored pencils and pastels to capture the disputes and growth from my childhood memories, marking the beginnings of my journey to self-discovery. Besides studying at school and analyze myself deep, I also took field trips to observe and record other people's lives, which are very different from mine. So in my another project journey to the southeast, I recorded my experience of teaching at Sichuan Middle School in Simon County, Yunnan, which is a very small town located in the China-Burma border at the end of June this year. This is the first time I've worked in oil paintings. I blended traditional soft color oil painting with contemporary methods, letting a more avant-garde touch to the details. I experimented with various exaggerated perspectives, um, highlighting unfolding storylines around me, like world angle bird's eye views. Because I'm obsessed with studying all kinds of traditional Chinese culture, whether it's humanities or handicrafts, I try to combine them with modern elements to produce something new. So I've created a number of artworks on this subject, like one of my installation projects, One Buddha Become a Blogger, and two installation projects, Slavi and Beyond the Pink Lotus. During the process of making these two installations, I paid more attention on the diverse use of material, content of the work, and the final visual effect. I did various experiments, including uh, Eric Ball's cutting process, crystallization reactions, imitation of Chinese traditional intangible culture heritage flower production by heat shrink plastic. These two artworks explain the theme centered on femininity and philosophical mu musing held within a landscape, respectively. So that's all. I'm glad you are here. Maybe in the future, after I graduate and come back to China, I will become an art researcher or recorder to investigate and understand marginalized cultures, people, and tribes through art so that their history can be made to know to new generations across space and time.